Everyone knows about EA's old NCAA football games. The most famous example is NCAA 14, the last officially licensed college football game as of the date of this video. While most consider that game to be the best of the series, I personally always preferred NCAA Football 06, and that's what I consider to be the greatest title in the series. 14 is a fun classic game, don't get me wrong, but I believe it's slightly overrated due to it being the last in the series, at least, again, as of the time of this video. So what is the most underrated NCAA football game of all time, and why? In my opinion, that belongs to NCAA Football 04. I never hear anyone talking about this game anymore, nor do I really see anyone playing it. Yet when it released, it was easily the greatest college football game ever made. And even today, it remains a very fun and deep college football experience. NCAA Football 2003 was a great game as well, so the fact that 04 made such a strong leap despite having so much to live up to really speaks for itself. For a while, EA's NCAA game simply felt like a skinned version of Madden, but 04 really felt like the first time an NCAA game stood strongly on its own and left the shadow of its big brother. And it's about time it gets the spotlight. NCAA Football 04 captures the atmosphere and energy of college football perfectly. The crowd gets really loud and actually reacts to mid-play action. For example, break a tackle and then go for a long run, and the crowd will begin to roar louder and louder as you get closer and closer to the end zone before they go absolutely crazy when you score. The fight songs are all there, cannons fire, there's situational chants, everything you would expect to hear, see, and feel while watching or attending a college football game is here. The most important addition to 04 was online play. Yes, for the first time ever, all the way back in 2003, nearly 20 years ago, you could play NCAA football online with your friends or random strangers. You could even use voice chat if you bought a compatible microphone. But despite online play being the major new feature, it only scratches the surface of what NCAA 04 added from 03, a game that, I'll remind you, was considered the greatest college football game ever made when it released. Unlike any other college football game at the time, 04 was just filled with so many features and game modes that it blows away any previous college sports game in the depth department, and it even rivals some of the later NCAA titles as well. One of my favorite parts of this game is the greatest games mode. Basically, when you have a super close game, such as one with a walk-off touchdown for example, the game will save all the stats from that game and actually create a ranked list of your top 10 greatest games that you can look back on and reminisce about. While this is in newer NCAA titles, it appeared for the first time ever in 04. Then there's the college classics game mode. Perhaps Dynasty mode is too complicated to get invested in, and you just want to kill a few hours playing some games or see what NCAA 04 is all about. College Classics is basically Madden moments for college football. Jump into historic moments in the sport and recreate them however you want. There are around a dozen scenarios to play, such as Doug Flutie's 1984 Hail Mary and The Play from 1982, as well as more modern ones. Speaking of the Dynasty mode, for those that are willing to put time into it, it's an incredibly rewarding experience. Take full control over any existing school or create your own. Yes, create a school is present here, and unlike Team Builder, it's built into the game, so there's no need to use a website or have to rely on servers. Of course, that means you have slightly less options, but it's more than good enough in my opinion. Within Dynasty Mode, you have a Sports Illustrated section that shows a constantly changing cover that highlights key plays and players throughout the season. You of course get to view overall rankings, the Heisman Watch, and conference breakdowns. You can use coach options to set overall strategies for specific opponents, and there's also a report card that grades you and your performance as a coach. Be careful or you could get fired. For a game from 2003, recruiting is pretty fleshed out. You get a list of your graduating seniors to help decide which positions to target, and then you get to view a list of interested players. You can sort the list by nearly everything. You can schedule visits with players, call them, or even convince them to come by guaranteeing playing time, for example. 
I found that playing Dynasty with a lower ranked team is incredibly challenging, but really fun once you start winning. Of course, to a lot of you, this might all sound standard. So what? Sounds like any other NCAA game to me is what you may be thinking. You have to remember that this game is almost 20 years old. It was really the first NCAA game to set this standard, and because of that, going back and playing it feels relatively modern. Without the fantastic base this game created, NCAA 06 could never have been as great as it was, and you could likely say the same for all future NCAA titles from EA. Of course, I haven't even got into the best part of the game yet, the gameplay. This is one of the best playing EA Sports games ever. I'll say it. Take NCAA Football 2003's fantastic gameplay and make it look bad in comparison. That's what NCAA 04 did. A common complaint in older NCAA and Madden titles was poor defensive back play, where they'd be in the right spot but rarely ever make a play on the ball. This was changed in 04, and now the CPU actually attempts to swat balls down or intercept passes, resulting in much more realistic and challenging gameplay. Zone defense, which was rough in past titles, was also vastly improved. Now you could actually trust linebackers to stick to their zone. Blocking got a ton of improvements as well, where blockers stay engaged up the field and will block multiple defenders in one play. There is nothing more frustrating than playing a football game, having a blocker in front with one man to beat, and the blocker just stands there and lets him by. This happens all the time in modern EA Sports football titles, but not in NCAA 04 somehow. They really nailed the gameplay on that old engine. When running a play-action pass or a draw play, the game's camera zooms in or out perfectly to trick your opponent into biting on the fake, assuming you're playing online or with a friend. There are also awesome trick plays in the playbooks. Normally, older football titles have super outdated playbooks that are hard to use today. ESPN NFL 2K5 comes to mind. In NCAA 04, you can run double end around reverses for example, which is simply light years ahead of other games at the time. New tackle animations were added resulting in natural looking collisions, and not only does this game play well, it also looks nice too. In terms of presentation, the game features many new camera angles to mimic real broadcasts, realistic introductions with players running out of the tunnel pregame, pretty decent commentary, and the game even allows you to celebrate after a score by dunking over the goalpost, for example. And yes, you will get a 15 yard penalty, but the option to celebrate if you want to is super cool. After scoring, the game will zoom in on a player's face from time to time, and you can actually see his emotions on his face. And while it may not look impressive today, remember, again, this game is nearly 20 years old. A lot of my viewers are likely younger than this game, yet if they played it today, it would still hold up. That's just crazy. Originally, the game was also going to have the crowd storm the field after huge wins, but EA took that out last second. A cool bit of trivia, I guess. NCAA Football 2004 was the first great NCAA football game. It stepped out of its big brother's shadow and delivered the best college football experience ever, next to literally playing the sport yourself. In my opinion, the game is super underrated today likely because it's overshadowed by 14 and 06, but 04 stands right there with them. If you haven't yet played this game, why not give it a try? Thanks for watching.